Can you hear me from my past now? So who was here and heard Princeton last time? Well, I have a special treat at the end of this about Princeton, but wasn't he fabulous? I'm sorry, you know, all I can do is side to side, you know, we'll do that together. But um, I'm very, very pleased to be here. I'm sorry I wasn't able to attend last time. Um, before we jump into what the foundation is, and I'll just, you know, I, we have our fabulous logo, which um, I'm hoping you've all seen. But I wanted to talk about what's important and how the foundation came to be. So years ago, I mean, now the, the company is almost 11 years old. But in 2010, the founder, Wayne Nugent, believed that there had to be more to travel than just traveling. And he heard about this concept called voluntourism. And they explored it and thought, wouldn't that be amazing that we could do this around the world? And formed this foundation for which he, the company supports the operation of the foundation. And then any fundraising we do goes directly to the causes we fundraise for. But what happened in 2010 was a vision for America because that's where they were. And what an amazing journey in six years that now the foundation has done work in 90 plus countries. And, well, no, sorry, 90 plus communities. I didn't like, that sounds like a lot. I haven't been to that many countries. 90 plus communities in over 20 countries. So because of you, because when you get involved with this, you hear and you understand that this is a company that believes in giving back wherever possible, we are making a difference throughout the world and locally. So, you know, what we just had up, I'm going to read again because I think it's really important. We're inclusive, global community, united in spirit. I have to tell you that when I traveled uh, with World Ventures the first year, I've been with them all, the foundation almost four years now, I was astonished at the diversity of all of us. You know, we were, we were inclusive, and there was no barrier to entry but desire. And what an amazing organization. I have never experienced that anywhere else in my career across the world. So kudos to all of you because you open the door to everyone. <clears throat> Our job is to improve the world around us. Every child and circumstance brings us together. We are a reflection of the hope we see in the world. You know, you can think those are just words, but to be a reflection of the hope you see in the world is called living that possibility. When I first started in nonprofit, and it was my last choice of career change, I used to own a business, I sold the business, went back to school, became a servant leader in nonprofit because I can do things that help people do things. And that was important to me. But what, what really mattered was, I was overwhelmed at the beginning. I thought, how can you serve the world? You only have to go on one trip to help in the third world or to help a village or even a bad neighborhood close to Dallas. And you go, there's so much need. And I'm just tell, going to tell you a little story on that. There's two actually, and I'm just thinking, which one should I share? I think I'm gonna go with Mother Teresa because she was just, you know, made a saint. And I am not a Catholic, but I love her work. She worked in Calcutta when no one, no one would do work in Calcutta unless there was a terrible uh, emergency. And she would be every day out on the streets of Calcutta. And I have a, a, an elderly male friend in Delhi who actually worked with her. So he's talked a lot about their work. And everyone would say to her, why bother? There is so much need in the world. Why bother? It doesn't make a difference. And Mother Teresa said, a child is born one at a time. A person lives one at a time, and you die one at a time, and I can hold one at a time. 
it's very powerful because suddenly the work we do is about the work we do. And I may have done my journey to help someone in the world already. I have no idea, but one at a time, I can make a difference and so can all of you. So I invite you to hear about things we're doing. I'll get my voice normal again because I do love that story. And we will take a look at some of the great things we've, we've got. So we're going to play a big thank you uh, video from yesterday. Who was with us yesterday helping on the... <sighs> thank you, all of you. Let's play that recap video. And this will be up on YouTube and on the website shortly. I'm so glad I decided to come because I almost thought, well, you know what, I was going to go shopping instead. I thought, no, I need to do this. I want to see their environment. They must grow in a very beautiful environment, healthy environment, so that they can have a prosperous future. And the smiles and satisfaction of seeing the kids smile is wow. You know, when you see how fortunate you are and you can help and do something for the less fortunate, that yeah, it just makes you feel so, so good in this is something that's in my heart to be able to give back to people and um, seeing the cool kids come walking in now, they just appreciate so much. It's such a little thing to do for them. It's to see the kids and see the, the, the expression on their faces when they see what the school looks like, it's priceless. I mean, you can't, you can't exchange it, you can't put a value on that. can change one life, um, you must do it, you must do it. Oh, so that's why we do what we do. And, um, you know, wh who works for, with or for another organization that has a commitment to change a city every time it does an event there? We believe when we leave a city, we leave it better than we found it. And I, you know, I can't think of something, anyone else that has that vision for their company to do something like we do. I mean, we're doing it in Berlin, Kuala Lumpur, Australia. It's in the next month, we're going to have volunteer days before events across the world. And, um, you know, I thank Wayne all the time for allowing us to be supported to do this because it's easy to say something, but to execute it with passion, that's amazing. So thank you again, everyone that joined us yesterday. And please know, if you follow the foundation on Facebook, the World Ventures Foundation on Facebook, that's where the announcements for the volunteer days show up first before they go in any publications and so we always sell out and you're welcome to you know keep an eye out for them for when we next visit so let's move on a little bit so um, if we could look at this kloof let's talk about kloof so earlier this year we had an opportunity to make a difference this was in the Durban area for um, supporting a tournament that was struggling to, to have enough money to put the tournament on. And it is a very demographically mixed group. But we did this, and for the weekend, and thank you, John Keo, for coordinating being there and representing us, we were the proud sponsor of the whole tournament. And uh, I have a little recap video. It's more, you know, it's not uh, fancy. We just threw it together here, but it shows you some of the soccer playing. And then I'm going to tell you some more about this. If we could play that video, please. 
So there's no music because, again, we put this together. But you can see that there's, you know, multiple teams. It was hosted by South Africa Football Association. So it's very visible. And uh, around the perimeter, there were signs thanking World Ventures Foundation for the sponsorship. But because we loved what we did here, we've started talking about what else can we do in 2017. So one of the reasons of my being here, as well as you know, having the fun to become here, was to be able to come and talk again to Safa and to this next group. We'll take a look at the next thing. Uh, on Mandela Day, was anybody able to join us that's in the audience for the... We had an amazing day with a very, very um, challenged uh, group of kids for soccer experience. We brought in some professionals to train them. We gave a great day of food and fun. And it was, it, it, it was a day that the children have written to us and thanked us and remember. But it was also a day that told us as other ways to do this. So we're in the middle of really working out how to be supporters of youth soccer in South Africa for the most disadvantaged. No. So um, just before this, I got off the phone with, with uh, somebody that has connections throughout South Africa who's helping us. And when we come together in... Um, momentum, we'll be able to talk about it and tell you what we have going on. But the Mandela Day, we were so proud to be part of such an important event in South Africa. But now I want to talk to you a little bit about um, what's been going on around the world. Or no, what's been going on in your continent. I could talk about the world, but more important here today. So this is a picture of a fundraiser in Zimbabwe. And I want you to know, reach out to us at the foundation because we believe this was an extraordinary first time event that really made a difference. So this is in Harare. Uh, a group got together, a group of reps, and said, let's host a movie night. And they started with a cinema for that held 80 people. Then, if I get the numbers wrong, bear with me. 150 they had to move to, and then they had to move to the biggest theater in town. And people paid, say, $10 to go, $4 went to the movie, the red and the little snacks and fun, and the rest is going to an upcoming um, volunteer day that they're all going to do. So it's funded the work and the program. And I think it was quite clever. What do you all think? So we are going to be interviewing them in the near future to try and get, like, here's what we did so we can send it to all the leaders here and say, why don't you see if this works in your community and duplicate it? And it won't just be here. I think we're going to offer it to the globe and say, have a go at this because it really brought everybody into the story, but having fun as well as doing the work. So thank you, everybody, that planned that. And then I wanted to just acknowledge earlier this year that in Kenya, outside um, Nairobi, they did a volunteer day. We're going to know more about that. Was anybody here at that volunteer day? Well, over there, I can tell. So thank you so much. Um, we, you know, we get these volunteer days around the world. It was one of the visions that myself and my team had when I first started is, what could be scalable? Because volunteers are difficult because you have to have the funds, have those same dates, have the desire to go to that destination. And, you know, that's a lot of, of, of kind of coming together for one trip a year in one region. So the volunteer days, you grow, you develop, we support. And the numbers, last year we did 25,000 volunteer hours. We're on track to do 50,000 this year. And that's impressive. But it's, it's all of you doing it. I mean, we can't be 
in every, every town and everywhere. But if you have a desire and you have an idea to do it, we want to hear from you. I know I always tell you that, but you can see these things do happen. So let's look what's coming up. So this is the Zimbabwe one is the Tariro. Is, did I say that correctly? Yes, Tariro, House of Hope. So these uh, children are, um, they need a lot of things. So we're, you know, it was like a list that you were kind of in awe of, of the needs. And obviously it goes from food to pencils to everything. So the work being done is from the date of the movie night to the actual day in September. Then Kenya has one coming up at the schools again. And then they have another one in December. So clearly, Kenya is picking up the pace. And you guys, locally, and you guys locally, not so much. So there's a challenge to you all, you know. It's like it takes one person to do it. So I want to tell you, let me just go ahead and make sure. Yes. So one of the things that um, we think about a lot is, you know, how to engage, you know, we, the last time I was here, we had our Volunteer of the Year Award, and we will do that again next year. But it's really, and we do one in each region, and then we, at United, we do the Global Volunteer of the Year. And because everybody volunteers, we can talk about this incredible hours and all that we do. But it's really about the children that you're impacting, because so many more children are being impacted. And one of the things we have really worked out is that in these three countries, Kenya and Zimbabwe and South Africa, next year, instead of trying to do a prolonged intensive volunteer for several days, which just doesn't seem to work, we're now going to take the most popular dream trip weekends and we're going to add in the same weekend but put it as a volunteer. So instead of Friday night, you welcome dinner the same. Saturday, instead of an excursion, you'll do a volunteer day in that community, then a dinner, and then Sunday, wrap it up, like you would on a normal dream trip weekend, but we'll make it a volunteer. And we're going to try very hard to bring every one of those in under $250, including the program. So I, I want you to know we're working really hard because we want more of you to experience it. And you know, who doesn't want a little leisure with it? So um, you stay posted, we should have that scheduled together by the end of the year and bookable. So it is the volunteers that make the difference. We, we are your servant leaders. And I'm gonna tell you one little more story before I have uh, a, a series of surprises coming up. So um, the other story, which maybe this one will register to a different group. Um, does anybody know the starfish story? Okay, good. Kiki, as my daughter says, kiki. So um, a little boy's walking along the beach and it's just loaded with beautiful starfish who are beached. They the water's gone out. He's picking one up, he's throwing it, picking one up, throwing it, picking the next one up. And of course, a big old adult comes along and says, why bother? Same question that Mother Teresa got. Why are you bothering? There's so many starfish here, it doesn't matter. And the little boy picked up the next starfish, threw it into the water and said, it mattered to that one. So hopefully one of those two stories will remind you, you'll be able to remember them when people are asking you, why does it matter that World Ventures has a foundation? Why does it matter that you could be part of something so powerful as well as your business? It matters because it takes one at a time. So I leave you, I'm not leaving you with that, but I'm leaving you that story to think about and add to your library. So. I think I'm going to read you something that someone sent me to read to you, and I can't memorize it because it's too long. So here is our volunteer from, if we could put up Winnie's picture. So 
Winnie, I invited a volunteer from Kenya, um, South Africa and Zimbabwe to join me on stage to tell you their why. And Winnie is not able to join us. She's, you know, showing off and going to Vegas for The View. I mean, hello, who gets to do that? Oh, she must be with World Ventures. <laughs> How clever. Maybe she'll come on our volunteer day there. That would be fun. All right, so I asked her why. Why do you volunteer so much? Because she does a lot, I have to tell you. My zeal, and this is her words now, my zeal to give back was birthed way back during my campus years, courtesy of a full scholarship that totally changed my life. When I joined World Ventures, the bit, the bit of the foundation, that's me, the bit of the foundation, caught my attention too, and I endeavored to indulge in it and give it the very best I've got. And I strongly believe that it's in giving that the world is blessed and together we make the world a better place. It's a blessing to do this with fellow Kenyans who have the heart to serve. Let me go back, sorry. And together we shall indeed achieve more, touch the lives of more children in Kenya and beyond. We have been able to give back to an adoption children's home, done mentorship and donations to schools in the slum area, annually visit the largest referral hospital the week before Christmas to offset bills for children. Um, so they've been retained in the hospital because of unpaid bills. Winnie goes and clears the bill so they can go home for Christmas. Oh my gosh. Ay, ay, ay. We shall indeed do more, give more, and serve more children in Kenya and the world. We thank Wayne for the noble vision and for allowing us to be the co-creators for the children with him. Now, that's quite the letter. So, let me go back one. So now I would like to invite two of my dear friends that have been working with us in, so let me invite Linda Meyer from Johannesburg and Bernie Costas from Harara to come join me on stage. I didn't get the note about the outfit or else I would be wearing one. Anyone that knows me, I would have done that. But okay, next time. So Bernie's gonna take a couple of minutes and tell you her why. Hi, everyone. First of all, thank you to Gwyneth and the World Ventures Foundation, because if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be where we are today, helping so, so many people. Um, it's difficult to put out why we actually do this. Um, you actually have to experience it yourself. And I'm going to choose one that has really impacted us, um, impacted me. We just finished a Northcott Training Institute, and that's a, an institute where children have committed crimes and are just too young to go to a formal jail. So that's where we did our last service day of last year, and we asked, we took it a step further. We said, can you give us 20 of your children, and we will take them through the Success for Teens program which is based on the slight edge. So the team got together and every month we went and we did a chapter. And you're looking at these children. These children have been told that they are nothing, that they will never achieve anything in their lives. But I believed that they deserve a second chance. And there's this young guy, Craig. Um, he wanted to run for a junior parliamentarian in his district. His teachers, everybody in the school told him he was wasting his time. We went in and we told him, you can do whatever you want. He went in and he was selected a junior parliamentarian. 
We carried on going every time he says, they still don't believe in me. And he said, we do. He was then selected senator for his district. And as Gwyneth said, change one life at a time. And he came to us when he got into his Senate position and he said to, to us as a team, thank you for believing in me because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have done it. So it's stories like that. You can't put a price and you can't do anything, but you have to just help the children. I mean, after all, it's not about how much you give. That's another to to Mother Teresa. Doesn't matter how much you give. Um, but just give it with all the love. After all, the service to give to others is the rent that we pay on earth. So all I can say is heart to serve. Thank you so much. Thank you. Melinda? Hi, everybody. When I started with World Ventures, I was made to believe that I will walk this stage for other reason. And that is of some senior rep or director or that kind of thing. But when I went to, Uni when I went to United um, in 2016, January, Wayne Nugent actually started off that event by saying, let's seek ye first the kingdom of God. And then I, then I realized God had other plans for me. And never ever I thought that it was of, it, it's going to be of the foundation that I will walk the stage first. Thank you. <laughs> and the reason for that is because God knew that I've got a heart to serve. And that's why he made me to walk the stage first for the foundation before the others will come. The others will follow. Believe me, free it will. When it asked us, we must tell, us, tell you guys what does this mean to us. And I always tell the story when we are, are at, a, at, a, at a travel party. But one day, a little boy came from the zoo. You guys, for those who were there, or for those that attend these events, you know that the kids go, they get taken away, and then they come back. And this little boy came back and he got out of the bus and he stood there and I could see he was looking for something. And I asked him, what are you looking for? And he said, my school. And I had to convince him that this school you're standing at, it is your school. And then his tears started to rain from his eyes. And then I realized as well also, we don't impact these children. They impact us because that's what's happening on that day. We change people's lives, but ours get changed as well also. There was a person that told me, which I've met earlier, and I said, where were you? Because on these journeys, you meet a lot of people. But I asked him, where were you? And he said to me, um, no, I've done the previous two, um, so I skipped this one. And I said to him, you know what? Each one is different. And that's why I want to encourage you to come and be part of this. I want to leave you guys with this. And it is Luke 6, verse 38. And it says, For it is in giving that we shall receive. Now we, we received World Ventures. And World Ventures has given the World Ventures Foundation. And that's why we can serve or can have a heart to serve. And I thank you all for making this possible. Thank you very much. Gosh. All right. Thank you, both of you. Um, so, uh, quick, quick. We, there are free passes for Momentum for January. I think, or whenever the Momentum is here, I'm sorry, I don't have the calendar, in our mystery boxes. So please stop by our booth and take a chance. There's a GoPro there, there's passes, there's goggles, all kinds of things. It helps us fundraise. So you all love Princeton, right? 
okay, and he's sorry not to be here. He would love me to send him around the world, like always. You know, he's always saying, anywhere else I can go? But since then, we have done something quite magical with that song. So I invite you all to stand up. And you are the first viewers. This is launched here with you. We have the music video, first time ever, of Heart to Serve, if we could play it. You know, it takes a while to get cranked up. You're not living life to use your life to serve other people. Love, I ain't got it. Somebody told me about it. All I know is pain. Do you know I shot it? If so, why do you doubt it? I've seen hurt and slaughter. And can you help my irrigation? There's mud in my water. I don't even know my father. I'm sore from civil war. Shed tears, need love. I've been sleeping on the floor. My family's so poor. My heart is so poor. My hope is on the ropes right now. Been trying to hug it forward, but it ain't on sweet shoes. On my feet are worn down. Can you take the heat? I'm flying through the turbulence to land on my dreams. I done lost everything but my body, so it seems I'd rather die like a man than live like a coward. I am hoping in the team, so I'm hoping happy hour. I heard about some beautiful feet that brings power. I need a couple servants to help me up on the surface in my purpose. And I, and I remember. I just want to help me change in life Empower the community the day at a time Maybe I found a space in my heart to make a better place I just want to heal the world we live in And save it for my children with a heart Can you hear me from my past now? Got emotional tattoos, I can't laugh now. Look, I'm the voice up in Cyprus without a voice. Look, I'm the mother in Malaysia without a choice. I know you making noise, bottle schools in Guatemala. Dream courts in America, now I'm a baller. Ain't gotta be a scholar to know my faith is broken. Poverty stricken areas, it seems fate has spoken. Are your arms open? Are you desensitized? You got a heart to serve? Can you swallow your pride? Education is sufficient. I need art supplies in Thailand, but in Hungary, we still hungry. Uh, I know life ain't a playground, but a battlefield. Sometimes I get scarred, but I know that I will heal through love and the peace and relief that you bring. I can see brighter days through the storm and the and rain. I, I just want to help me change in life. Empower community the day at a time. So, you were the first to see it. You pro I promise you, only my office has seen it. And we're going to release it on, the, the song is available on iTunes. 
um, and on Google Play. But the video will be up on YouTube Monday. And I, do, I can't imagine a more powerful tool for you to have whenever you meet anyone. Because the song is beautiful. It is a heart to serve. And Princeton, you know, he's a Christian rapper. And I can't think of anyone sending a message more strongly than he does. So thank you all for letting me be here. It's been an honor to be back in South Africa. And I'll see you on the volunteer. Thank you. I'm the voice up in Cyprus without a voice. Look, I'm the mother in Malaysia without a choice. I know you.